Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. What's going on, man? Make sure you guys go check out the um, live we did. My boy T, C Pin for the win, Terrell Hubbard, 225 Girl, Do Little, C Pin for the win, Joe Cool. Who did it this time? Uncle Frank, the town's own love and success, intellectual cycle, intelligent cycle, excuse me. Um, Raptors post game talk, Steve, Alexander, Professor X Lewis, Joe Cool. Those guys really, really looked out for your boy tonight. Thank you guys for coming to the live. If I missed you, I apologize. Thank you as well for coming to the live. We had fun. I'm going to do some more lives um, coming up. I'm going to do one tomorrow. The one after that, I'm going to see if I can get the stream yard going where I could put everybody in it and we just go off the dome and do our thing. Shout out to Nicholas Jacobs. Shout out to... Valentine Outlaw, again, shout out to who did this this time. He has been inspirational to me. His videos have really kept me up. Uncle Frank, his knowledge. T, my boy T from the D. Detroit Basketball. That's my boy. Thank you guys for coming by. Shout out to the other subscribers. We are at 152. If it doesn't change, we'll be at that. Um, wanted you guys to hear this real quick. The GOAT ever in between LeBron and Jordan. The debate about... Well, this debate about who's the GOAT ever in between LeBron and Jordan, or who's your GOAT? How, 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 do, we, how do we determine that? What's the well, determine we're never going to be able to determine it. That's why we got to keep talking about it, because you never can go back into that era and be like, yo, this is what I'm going to do. It's what people did in those eras. You know what? It's who you grow up on. I mean, to do the stuff that LeBron does, nobody been that big and strong. It's like saying, okay, Carl Malone, I need you to go out there and play point. That ain't going to never happen. <laughs> they don't have the skills like that. It's the same thing. Magic, you big, but you ain't 260 like LeBron. You ain't jumping like that. Now, as far as that player build like that, he's a monster. But the greatest of all time is how do you measure that? You measure that by your victories and what you – did in those victories. I ain't talking about you got 12 rings and you've been on five different teams. I'm talking about a dude who went to the finals who was the main guy six times in a row. And if you can't, if you can't beat that, when you have losses on your, on, your, on your record, you can't be the greatest of all time. That dude ain't got no losses in the finals. So it's always going to be Michael Jordan until my boys succeed that, which is going to happen. Well, first of all, you can't just say it's all about the finals, LeBar, because they did play finals in the seasons that he didn't go to the finals. What about that? Well, like I said, the finals, if you don't get there, you're off the hook. Well, you're not, you're not off the hook. So, in other words, see what you're you did. Off the hook if you don't go to the finals. But when you go to the finals, you got to lose one. No, no. Championships to win at it. The best from the West. You got to lose one. Nobody lose not one. He ain't beat nobody. Well, you can call nobody if you want to. Whoever out there, I see somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I appreciate you giving me a little time today. Congratulations right. again. So basically, <clears throat> Shannon Sharp was talking about basically the GOAT conversation. Who is the GOAT of basketball? That's what everybody wants to know, right? What is the GOAT conversation based on? See, nobody answers the real questions. Nine times out of 10, if you grew up in the 90s, you would say Michael Jordan is the GOAT. If you grew up in the 2000s, you would say Kobe's the GOAT. I don't want to hear that Tim Duncan crap, no. Duncan was great, but he was not Kobe. I'm sorry. Now, if you grew up in the 80s,
You would say magic and bird, correct? You would say that, right? It was magic or you would say Larry Bird, correct? In the 70s, you would probably say Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. In the 60s, you probably would say Wilt Chamberlain, Bill Russell, or Oscar, or Jerry West. Depending on the criteria, because the 60s was real racist at that time. It's still racist today, but probably not to that extent. Now, my greatest of all time, I don't have one. It's Kobe Bryant, Hakeem Olajuwon, Dennis Rodman, Tim Duncan, and I'm on the fence between Iverson, Isaiah Thomas, Bird, Magic, Michael. I go with I, I go with Allen Iverson. But it's kind of hard because KD, if he comes back and, and balls out, I might put him in my five. But I ask people, my top five is based off of skill. So I have Iverson as my five. I feel like those five guys I named were the most skilled players that I've ever seen. Seriously. So what's the criteria? So what's the criteria? Now, if we're talking about rings, it's Bill Russell. Bill Russell's the greatest of all time with 11. Now, if we're talking about... <clears throat> impact on the game and the shoe deals and to get the people to come watch the games, you would say Michael Jordan, right? You would say Michael. If you were white, you would say Larry Bird. That's just plain and simple. Or Jerry West, <clears throat> if you didn't say them when you were white, I would slap you in your mouth and be like, dude, Larry Bird and Jerry West for you. Now, top five, can it be a GOAT? LeVar Ball just said it. How? It's what area you grew up in. There's some guys... It's a guy I used to go to the gas station and get um a cigarette from in Jacksonville. Um, Indian guy. Cool dude. Always showed me respect, and he would hook me up. If I didn't have the money that day, I would hit him up about two, three days later because I would get paid that day. The dude would tell me straight up, Latrell Sprewell was my favorite player of all time over Kobe and Michael Jordan. I didn't like them. I liked the Latrell. And I did too. Latrell, Damon Stoudemire, Derek Coleman. Um, Sean Kemp. Those are my guys. Gary Payton. Those are my guys growing up. Tim Hardaway, Chris Mullen, the Davis brothers. Pat Ewan, Dave Robinson. Dennis Rodman was my favorite out of all of them. I just love the hair. I love the way he played on the court. It gave me energy to go out and want to rebound. Everybody wanted to play like Jordan, tongue out. I wanted to rebound like Rodman. I wanted to defend like Rodman. So what's the criteria? 
Who is the dope? My boy Dude Little. Shout out to Dude Little, man. Dude Little is a real one. His favorite player is LeBron. His five, I think he said, was LeBron, Duncan, um, Shaq. I got to go back and look at it. But he had an interesting five, and I liked it. I, If you're a LeBron fan, you could be on my page. I don't care. I just don't like them. <laughs> That's just me. But that don't mean you don't have to, you have to like them. Like, dude, little ask me a question about football players. Like, could Michael Jordan and Kobe survive football? Hell no. They got broken up. You have to be built differently to play football. You do. As much as Mike, I loathed him, but loved Kobe, they couldn't play in football, baby. It's too much physicality. Allen Iverson and Charlie Ward would have been able to play in football. They had that mindset more than all the other players. Shaquille O'Neal would not have made it. He went out there and got hit one time. He was done. He was done. <laughs> he said, I'm going to play basketball. Him and Charles Barkley had the similar story. But Charles probably would have been an old lineman, a D lineman in football. But all I'm saying is this. LeBron James is not the GOAT. If he's the GOAT, he's the GOAT of going on another team. There's no such thing as a greatest of all time in a team sport. How about the greatest of all teams? Have you ever thought about that? Who was the greatest team? Huh? The greatest team I ever saw, even though they didn't win, was the Sacramento Kings with Chris Webber on it. That team got cheated out so bad, it's a travesty. The Sacramento Kings were one of the greatest, if not best, team that I, I've ever seen. Them, you can also go... The Pistons, that season they had Rick Mahorn. You can go mm, the Celtics at 86. The Lakers team, I think that was 87, I think somebody was saying. And, um, That Lakers team with Elgin Baylor, Jerry West, and Wilt Chamberlain. That was a tough team. That was a tough team. You also could say the Celtics with Russell. And then Shannon talking about he didn't beat nobody. How didn't Jordan beat anybody? I am the biggest Jordan. I am not a Jordan fan. I'm the biggest Jordan hater of anybody. I am. I don't like the bald-headed dude. Never was a fan of his. You can ask my cousin Geronimo. Couldn't stand Jordan. Thought he always cried too much. Thought he always used to get away with everything. Michael Jordan. What Shannon doesn't understand, Michael Jordan wasn't just a basketball savant. He was a defensive genius. This dude was so fundamentally sound on the defensive end. 
He knew what hand to place on the defender. He knew where to push the defender. He was a study of tape. He had a Defensive Player of the Year award. And he was nine time all defense, first team defense. Nine time. Even at 36 or 37, he still was being put on the defensive team. Look, I can't put LeBron in any top category because he jumped from team to team. LeBron told the truth. You jump from team to team. How can I give you respect? You won with different people, different franchises. You're just a journeyman. You're a role player. You never one time You never one time And it's the truth You never one time You never one time shut anybody down for a whole game. Not only that, Shannon said that Jordan didn't play nobody. Who did you play? You play the Spurs, which you guys could have won because you held Tim Duncan to his lowest scoring percentage ever in finals history. You lost to the Mavericks, who was an overachieving team. You beat OKC when all three of their stars were young. You beat the Spurs because Ginobili and Kawhi choked at the end on the free throw line. And Ray Allen hit the shot to bail you out. Then you got blown off by a record-setting margin in the finals the next time you played the Spurs, right? What about you played Golden State before they were Golden State? That team wasn't good as the Portland Trail Blazers. That team wasn't good as the um, Phoenix Suns. That team won good as the Sonics. So you telling me you would take Steph Curry over Gary Payton? No. As much as I like Clay, I'm not taking Clay over Hershey Hawkins or Nate McMillan. Can't do it. What about Detlef Shrimp? I know y'all remember him. You think that Golden State team would have beat the Utah Jazz? No. So, what do you think? Tell me in the comment section. Do you agree with LeVar or you disagree? To me, LeVar Ball's right. As far as his assessment, my greatest all time isn't about just rings. It's about that dog in you. It's about that heart. It's about your impact on your team. How much impact did you have on the court? My five, like I said, is Kobe, Hakeem, 
excuse me, Kobe Bryant, Hakeem Olajuwon, Dennis Rodman, Tim Duncan, and Allen Iverson. That's my five because I felt those were the most skilled. So let me know. Do you agree with LeVar? Or you disagree? To me, Michael Jordan is not my GOAT, nor is LeBron. So I really don't care. But if I had to choose between the lesser of two evils, I'm going with Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan... Let's just forget about the accolades. He could mentally take you out the game. Michael could score five points on the offensive end, but defensively, he would have took you out the game. He would have made you turn the ball over to him plenty of times. For real. Michael Jordan had tenacity. Something that we don't see a lot today from a player who plays like every game is his last. That's how Michael played. Have you ever seen LeBron play like this is his last game? No. <gasps> Excuse me. We haven't seen it. And Shannon Sharp, let me ask you this too. If LeBron James is so great, why didn't LeBron, and I'm going to ask you this, why didn't LeBron go to the playoffs his first year? And don't tell me because he got hurt. Because when he came back, he came back by the All-Star break. They were in ninth place. Huh? Where was he? Where was he? He had a chance to go. All he had to do was get those guys over the top. He didn't. Huh? LeBron James had a chance to get that team to the playoffs. What happened? He quit. He didn't want to play no more. He pouted. Now, he's talking about getting Giannis, and y'all still going to say he's the greatest of all time? He's the greatest of all time in team building. Huh? If you are the greatest and you make players better, who is he made better? Michael Jordan made Scottie Pippen, Horace Grant, BJ Armstrong better. When he left that season to play baseball, what happened to the Bulls? They won, right? That means he made them better. <laughs> when LeBron James left, what happened? He took the players and left them with the scraps and all their picks gone. <laughs> this, this is funny. LeBron fans really like this guy. Seriously. There was a subscriber who came to my page and said, I can't believe I used to root for this guy. I used to root for him, and now I, I, I don't after I've seen him for what he is. And I told him, there's nothing wrong, wrong with rooting for LeBron. If you feel he's great, cool. I have a problem with those that are in the 30s with me and in the 40s and 50s trying to say he's the greatest. Y'all have lost y'all goddamn mind. Y'all need to go sit y'all ass somewhere else before y'all get torn out the frame. 
Y'all know damn well. Y'all done seen way better basketball players. And for y'all to disrespect those players and say this guy's the best is a travesty. I can't go along with it. So let me know in the comment section, do you feel what LeVar Ball was saying? Or do you feel he's on that crap pipe? And um, who's your top five? Also, Jordan or LeBron, who do you pick? Um, thank you for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, share this, hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you want to donate to the page, you can cash at me at the word welcome, the number two in HD TV. Thank you for listening. We out. La boy. La boy.